We are getting reports that at least 86 people have been killed by pro-Assad militias in and around al kubairi village in Marzar district. Many of the victims are said to be women and children. The remote village had come under heavy shelling earlier in the day, as had several other locations across the Hama province. Uh, Manhal Abu Bakar is an activist based in Hama. He joins us now on the line from there. Manhal, thank you very much for speaking to Al Jazeera. Tell us first about what you know happened in those uh, two villages in Hama province. Yes, today those villages have been seized by the pro militias of Assad, supported by the Syrian army tanks, and the shelling started on those two villages. Uh, at, at first, uh, some casualties and persons has been killed under shelling and their corpses has been burned in the houses. After that, some buses full of uh, true Assad militia have entered to the area. And after that, we have been reported of some killing that happened by knife and also by, by the sh shooting on the corpses. Uh, there were 35 persons from one family called the Yatim family, those persons are being killed all. And most of the persons being killed are women and children. Uh, till now, we do not have the, the numbers of the children and, and women, mm. but we have been told that they are half of, the, of this family. Uh, some of the purposes, at least 13 purposes, has been taken by those militias that entered to the area after the shelling stopped. Why, why was uh, these villages targeted? Why was al Qubay targeted specifically? Because from what we understand, this wasn't uh, uh, an opposition stronghold. Why was it targeted? Yes, the, 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 the things that we, we understood that this village is... Uh, near these villages, there are some uh, villages that are pro-regime, and those militias are belonging to those nearing villages. So till now we got the news that the militias that came with the support of uh, the Syrian tanks uh, were from the nearing villages of, of these two villages. And uh, those militias were also burning the corpses uh, for these uh, two villages as a punishment for the people of those two villages. Are the UN monitors, Manha, aware of what's happened in al Kubai? Has anyone called them to tell them about this uh, alleged massacre? Actually, we called the UN monitors to go there, but actually they told us they cannot go there today. They told we can go, but tomorrow morning we cannot go to today afternoon. We tried to contact them, but we, they told they cannot go there. What about uh, the, the remaining residents of, of these two villages? Are they still around or have they fled? And if they have fled, where did they go? Well, actually, some of them have fled with some, with, with some injuries, but there's no, there were no hospitals or field hospitals around them. Uh, so those seven people who were injured actually have died because there are no... Uh, hospital uh, nearing those, those villages, we have been reported that some of the, the remaining villages have fled away for um, to work in Zita and those nearing villages. Mm. Manhao, just another question, uh, just to come back to, to what happened. Who was it that led these killings? Was it the government forces or was it the, the Shabihas or was it both perhaps? Yes, they were. The, the, the Shabiha with those militias were accompanied by the Syrian army. They were accompanied with the tanks and they came with the buses with tanks and uh, big ups with weapons of the Syrian army. First they seized the city and after that the, the village, sorry, and after that they started shelling the village. So the Syrian army were accompanying those militias who entered and, and uh, killed some, some people by knife. And, and just uh, one last question. How were the people killed? You mentioned that women and children are among the victims. How were they killed? Were they shot at? Were they uh, killed at close range, as was the case in Hula? How did it happen, uh, as you know it? Yes, at first, at first 
the, the first person has been killed, has been killed by a shelling, and their coal buses have been burned. After that, the militias came to the area, and some of the persons being killed are shot, and the other has been killed by a knife. Okay, thank you very much for speaking to us. That's the Syrian activist Manhao Abubakar joining us there on the line from Hama and telling us about uh, this latest uh, possible uh, massacre that's taken place in the central Syrian province.